So far we've been working mainly with colors that are named colors. So in the background and in the color um, properties, we've been using values like green or yellow. Um, that's fine. There are about 16 of those, I believe, that are defined colors, including things like aqua and blue and pink and yellow. But generally, we get very bored with those colors if we go too far with it. There are two other ways of uh, specifying colors, either by labeling out RGB, that is red, uh, green, blue, in certain mixtures, or by using what's called the hex code. If you've had um, ICM 501 with me, we've talked about counting in hexadecimal and um, and how that leads to an RGB color. So I'm not going to go into the details of that. Instead, I'm just going to say that there are plenty of places you can find RGB colors out on the web. The RGB color starts with um, a, a hash, um, uh, a, uh, a number sign, and we'll do the background here, and then has uh, six, either three or six characters of uh, of zero through nine and a through f um, to count to 16. so um, for example if we wanted to say use a background color of instead of that bright yellow a kind of uh, uh, muted yellow you'll see that's f f f f c c you might not see that it might be too small but roughly you get the idea so if we change this to f f f f c c um, we can then save it and when we reload it in the browser, we get a slightly more muted color of yellow. Um, so we can use a color chart like that, or there's even things like this that give you a palette that may or may not work well together. So you can see the entire palette and then gives you the um, RGB code uh, or the hex code for that color so that you can put it in. So if we wanted to do a background that was rosebud, that's D6566F. So um, if we go into this, we have, oh, let's see how my memory is, D6566F. And if we save that, file save, we can reload it in the browser. And we get that kind of rose color. Now, um, the colors are, uh, that's, that's one of the ways you can do it in hex code. In fact, um, before we had that FFCCCC, we could we could do something close to that just by doing that and doing an one character of an R, one character of G, one character of B, and it gets us uh, pretty close to the same thing. Um, sometimes you can do shortcuts that way and save a little bit of time. Um, so uh, again, I, I'm not worried about you figuring out what these are. If you have Photoshop, you can play with the color selector that way. There are a number of um, color selectors on the web that will get you these hex codes. So you don't have to really figure it out. You just kind of figure out what the color is and drop it in here. Um, the other way you can do it is by actually specifying RGB colors. You can do it in percentages or in numbers from 0 to 255. So we could say that we wanted it to be 50% red, 0% uh, blue, and 50% green. And that would get us file save. Um, that would get us this dashing color of purple. So uh, those are the three ways, either by specifying one of the, the standard few standard names, by using RGB, or by far the most common way, by using a hex code.